Welcome to another Marvel tutorial. Today we're going to go through how to design and wireframe directly in Marvel. If you don't have design software, this feature is perfect for you. Everything you need is available directly in Marvel in the browser. Plus, we've added the ability to insert millions of stock photos, icons, and hundreds of wireframe elements. So it means that your designs can get done in a matter of minutes. So let's get started. In any prototype project, head over to the Add Images button and then select Design in Marvel. This opens our in-browser design tool. And here you can design and wireframe any screen you need directly in Marvel. Let's go through the different options you have available so you get more familiar with the design tool. First up, you have the usual options such as drawing a rectangle, circle, entering text, drawing lines and one of the great features of the design tool is that you can search over a million stock photos and icons to add to your design. We also have a number of different wireframing pre-made assets available and elements so you can quickly add those to your design too and you can also save any of your components that you create to the team library so the rest of your workspace has access. I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process of designing a very simple email app and then turning it into a prototype. Let's get started by adding some text to kick off our design. And once you've added an element to the canvas, you have more options on the right-hand side to edit that element, such as changing its color. In this particular case, the font the weight of the font and the size and positioning. Let's make this a bit bigger and double click to change the word to give our app a title. Now let's add some more text and make this one a bit of a lighter weight and change it to regular. Okay, so this is looking good. So time to add some pre-made elements and assets from our wireframing library. I'm gonna add a status bar and a button. And I can double click on this button to either edit the color, the shape, or the text. Here I'm just gonna change the text for now. And my first screen looks good. Now I can add another screen by hovering over the bottom left-hand option add design and clicking on that gives me a new canvas so I'm just going to go through and add some more elements once again this time round I'm going to add a navigation bar double click to edit it remove a couple of the items that I don't need by just hitting delete on the keyboard and now I can copy and paste some of the other wireframe elements to quickly create my inbox. This looks good. Let's move on to the next screen. So on this screen, I wanna show the contents of the email. So I'm just gonna add in a bit more text and also start thinking about what kind of image I wanna use from a stock photo library. And I think a cat seems like a good idea. So let's add one of those in. We have our very furry looking cat. Let's resize it to make it fit. And it looks like the cat's a bit bigger than the artboard. So by clicking on the artboard name, I can now resize the canvas to make the cat fit. And let's copy and paste some text to make it fill it up. And we are good to go. We have our email screen. So let's click close. And that takes us back to the project and we now have our free designs waiting to be turned into prototypes. Hover over any of the designs and click on prototype and you'll be taken into the prototype editor where you can click and draw interactive hotspots over the top of your design to make one screen link to another. So I'm just gonna go through linking the screens together and getting to that final screen of the email content and then linking back 
to the previous screen to finish the prototype. Now if I close the editor and hit play, we get to preview the prototype in the browser. Now that I have a working prototype in Marvel, there's so much more I can do with it. I can share it with other people directly to their phone or desktop device. I can turn it into a user test and start testing it. Or I can ask people to leave comments on it so I can get more feedback. To find out more about those things, check out our other videos. And that wraps up our guide to designing in Marvel. If you want to find out more about Marvel, head to www.marvelapp.com. Thanks for watching.